Hello everybody, welcome back to Melanie from Orange Umbrella Co. We are back for another plan with me. Two weeks in a row, look at me. Um, so I am using Whimsical Birds 164 this week. I am not quite in the fall mentality yet. Summer is my favorite season, while fall kits are my favorite to, des des to design. Words are hard. Um, I de and I'm definitely looking forward to using them. I am just not ready to embrace anything having to do with cooler weather. So I decided to use 164 to, I think it's a good transitional kit. It's got a lot of yellows, orange, reds, you know, that kind of thing, but um, still is not super fall pumpkins, leaves, all of those types of things. I believe next week I will be jumping into fall kits and I'm already having trouble deciding which fall kit I want to use first. So it is happening. It's just not happening this week. Um, like I said, I thought this was a great transitional kit. So I pulled sheet one of the mini kit, the deco and the deco journaling, the sidebar posty notes, or I'm going to use them for the sidebar, the extra functional sheet and the full boxes from the TPC kit. So let's go ahead and start laying down the things. things been with you guys things have been fine here I'll catch you up on the OUC stuff first we switched over to our new inventory and order manager on Monday so it's currently Saturday I'm filming this much later in the week than I normally like to but that just kind of goes to show you how our week has been so we switched over. We did um, a couple test orders, I think five test orders last Friday with the new system. We already realized there were some small issues um, when doing that, and we kind of worked through them, thought it would be just fine. Um, came in Monday and, well, let me just put it this way. Luann said something to me Friday, and I said about this week and the new system. And she's like, wasn't that last week? So like this week literally felt like multiple weeks. Like it was the longest week. So much admiration for the girls um, sticking through it. We, we don't like this new inventory manager. Uh, I don't even know how else to put it. Um, I mean, we did know that that was a possibility. There's a lot of things when switching software that you just don't know is going to happen until you see it happen, you know? Um, so we are just kind of plugging along right now. We've, you know, found good workarounds for everything. I don't think we're going to stick with them, um, which is discouraging because I paid a lot of money for onboarding and that kind of thing. And then, um, you know, but I would rather go ahead and cancel it, you know, sooner rather than later and just kind of work through the things that we need to work through um, internally. We have been using ShipStation. Like, I was actually trying to figure it out with Ashley. She, um, she and Kim have been there, you know, since, gosh, Kim was with me when my business was in the house, and Ashley was the first... Um, new employee to come in when we moved into the building, which was in 2016, I think. So she, they have both been around a long time. None of us can remember what we used before ShipStation. Like, I think that we did our raw goods um, 
like our sticker sheet before we print on them, etc. Our raw goods inventory in um, in a spreadsheet, and I think we did out all of our shipping from the actual places that we sold. So like Etsy and um, Amazon. And I think that we switched to ShipStation once we opened up our website. So it just goes to show like we have been using this for a super long time. And while it is a great system and it has worked for us, the bugs are not something to ignore. So we're just, you know, anyway. We're just kind of in a limbo with that. Um, I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do. And for right now, we're just plugging along. We're, you know, printing invoices and pick lists from ShipStation, shipping through ShipStation, but using the new program for the um, inventory manager, um, and, which is fine. It does a great job with that. It just is, um, it's a lot of money to spend just for that. So that's just kind of where we are with that. Um, we'll see, we will see. But lots of exciting things happening this week. Otherwise, for me, I finally get my Invisaligns. I'm finally done with those. I have my last tray in now. And so I go to the orthodontist to get um, scans done for my nighttime retainers and then put a um, like a wire retainer in the bottom teeth on Wednesday. So I am so ready to be done with that. Not super looking forward to another appointment. I feel like all I have been doing since March is going to appointments. And I joked the other day that if I had like a quote unquote real job, I would have lost my job for miss work. Like it's just been that bad. Luckily, you know, the girls are willing to help out whenever and um, and I, you know, I can work at night or on the weekends, et cetera, when I need to. So yeah, that's kind of where we are with that. So going camping on Thursday, <laughs> my husband just called and I'm like having trouble concentrating because I'm still thinking about that. Let me, let me know. Do you guys have this issue? So we have, three vehicles. We have the truck we use to pull the camper. We have our, um, my vehicle, my truck, and then his Jeep. And what am I looking for here? I feel like I'm forgetting something that should have had, oh, this, I'll fill this out while we're chatting. Um, and he refuses to put all of the keys on one keychain. And we, you know, we have keys for the shop, keys for the house, all the things. So he just called me, he's like, um, where are you? Cause I'm getting ready to head to the shop and I don't have my keys. Well, you would if you left them all on one keychain, like I do, you know, he will constantly use my keys to drive my truck, which then messes with the seat setting. Cause the seat settings are based on what key you put in. And it's a whole thing. I'm like, I, you know what? It's fine. I'm here. So it's no big deal. But I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. He can never seem to get it together with that. All right. So where were we at? Oh, I was gonna fill out my reading, but I thought that might be too much and I kind of wanted to talk about my reading. So I have been reading a ton lately um, with everything going on. It has been wonderful to keep my mind off the things. So um, I have been reading. I, let's see, let's flip back. Oh, I'll show you this current week so you guys can see like how much I'm just, failing at life right now. That is this current week. I have not done anything besides check off a few things. I haven't filled in any of my bike rides, my reading, nothing. I did finish both of these books, also haven't rated them. The Beekeeper of Aleppo, awesome book. So sad, but so well written, so uniquely written. And I loved the characters in the book. So I gave that four stars. Um, the Secret Life of Violet Grant, that's like a historical fiction. There's a little bit of romance in it. You guys know I'm not a big romance, but it is not spicy. I don't care for, you know, book porn. Um, so that one was amazing. I gave that one four stars. I'm looking forward to reading the next one, but I'm actually gonna wait until my friend Dawn is ready to read it too, and we're gonna read it together. So that will be super fun. Um, so I have already finished another book and you know, because of the pressure of the camera, it has just totally escaped me. Um, okay, yeah, so I read The Overnight Guest by Heather Gudenkoff. Such a good book. Um, it was a super quick and easy read. 
So the over night guest. I gave that one four stars. Like I said, finished it in two days, breezed right through it. And now I'm reading, um, and that one was like a mystery thriller. And then now I'm reading The Vanishing Half. And I would put that in, I just started it yesterday, but I would, right now I put that in like a literary fiction, um, historical fiction type book. So it's really good also. It's not as good as the last two books I've read, but that's kind of like setting the bar, or last three, kind of setting the bar a little high. So um, it may not also be in the best place for like literary fiction right now. And I need something that's like a little easier to read. So that's how the reading's going. The reading is going amazing. Um, like I said, it has been wonderful to have that stuff to keep my mind busy and the things. So let's see, we're putting some of these little bad boys in here while I'm thinking about it. So yeah, we're leaving Thursday afternoon to go camping. We're actually, I'm so excited about this. So Lindsay that works for us um, had a camper and last year we took them um, riding with us. They brought their camper and then they had such a good time on, um, we have borrowed a friend's off-road vehicle, a side-by-side -side four seater and they had such a good time that they obviously started thinking about buying their own razor but they didn't have anything to haul it then they would be paying for storage etc so long story short they ended up selling their camper and buying a cabin um, at the gorge which is natural bridge if you're familiar with um, the kentucky area and so that was uh, super fun. So their cabin actually has a full camper hookup. So we are going down there, my husband, my daughter and I, to go camping and then riding with them. And I am so excited for it. Um, and it turned out Lindsay's just gonna work from down at the cabin this week since she's down there this weekend. And so we are able to go down, they were planning on going down Friday afternoon. So we're able to go down a little bit earlier than we thought, which I am super excited about. So some point Thursday, probably before rush hour, um, because pulling a camper in rush hour, blah, uh, we are gonna head down and go camping for the weekend. So I need to film the plan with me next week. And then what kits will we be on? 183 and 184. All right. 83 and 184. All right, so we will put that here. All right, and what else do I need to put in here? So I need to start Kit 189, it's not actually due until next Friday the 16th, I think that is. Yeah, Friday the 16th, I'm gonna go ahead and start it this week. I need to finish the website. I'm so close to um, being complete, completely done with um, overhauling that, and I'm super excited to get that live. That was one of my big goals this year. And then I need to work on the reformats. So. With everything going on with me personally, reformats are gonna be a little bit different this year. I am gonna go ahead and keep the F12. I did have one person um, reach out and let me know that they thought that kit fonts should be changed every year um, just to keep things fresh. And I, I, I kind of do agree with that, but I also, we love F12. We have a whole font col or script collection in F12, et cetera. And with everything going on with me, and just kind of not knowing what the next few months are gonna bring. We are gonna keep F12 for 2023. What I am gonna be doing is doing some small revamps and I'll do a larger revamp again with um, the new planner releases for the academic year. And I'm going to restructure the way the listings are done. Um, the mini kit is gonna be like the main item of the weekly kit. We're gonna kind of do away with the mini kit listing um so we're going to do a weekly kit listing and then an add-on listing a lot of other shops do this um so it shouldn't be too hard for you guys to navigate if you shop with some of the other bigger name shops 
um, but that will allow us to stop having to put like the mini kit listing has pretty much everything from the weekly kit like all of this kind of stuff inside of that listing so it's a little redundant and the busier we get the more the labor hours matter so for ashley to make you know a mini kit listing and a weekly kit listing with the same sheets in it with the exception of the actual sheet one and two from the mini kit it's just kind of silly so and that's kind of what we're going to do. So all the sheet numbers will be getting new numbers. Like, you know, I don't have them all situated yet. I'm still working on what's going in what listing, but this might be sheet one and two, as opposed to our full box sheet being one and, you know, our um, half and quarter boxes being sheet two, et cetera. So that's kind of what I'm working on. As I'm going through and like renumbering the sheets, I may make a few little tweaks. Um, these are our best-selling sheets. Well, I mean, aside from like the full boxes and the washing and stuff. So if there's anything small that you guys would like to see on this, let me know. Um, or any of these other sheets too. Like I said, I'm not going to be doing anything major. I just need to get through this month. Um, I am having surgery on September 30th, a lumpectomy to remove the tumor. And they'll do a full pathology report on it. So I'm optimistic. Yet tentative, let's say tentatively optimistic that it will, the whole thing will come back benign. And if that's the case, it'll just be extra monitoring for the next few years to just kind of watch me and see what my baseline is. Um, if it's not, that's okay. We're catching it early. I, I'm in a much better headspace than I was when this all started at the end of July. So it, it's going well. Um, I have an amazing surgeon. I was thrilled when I met him. His bedside manner was on point. He was patient. He was the first doctor I had really had an actual appointment with since all of it started. So he took his time explaining everything to me. Um, so I'm, I'm thrilled as much as I can be with the situation on how it's going. So we are just taking it one day at a time. Um, but of course, with surgery at the end of the month, I also have, you know, pre-op appointments. Um, they're doing this really cool new uh, technology on me. I shouldn't say new. It's like five years old, but it will allow my surgery to be much less invasive than a typical lumpectomy. I won't even need to be put all the way under and I don't do well with general anesthesia. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so I'll have to go in like a couple days before surgery, get this little device implanted that helps them to find the tumor without having to cut me all the way open. Um, and then, you know, the pre-op appointments, the COVID test, that kind of thing. I also am behind on getting my dogs their shots, so I want to do that in the next couple weeks. So anyway, a lot happening this month personally. So I am giving myself grace. Um, you guys are all just absolutely amazing with um, supporting us no matter what is happening. So I am looking forward to, and I know you guys will continue to do that, even if I don't do a new font for the year. So, all right, I actually think this is pretty much it. I need to put in um, the YouTube videos and that kind of thing in my personal. I am gonna go back to this week and like fill this stuff in. Um, I, so I am putting it in again just because I didn't use it. I think it will be awesome to kind of look back and see like how many pages I read a day and my water. I've had zero problem getting that water every day. So I'm going to fill those in. Um, and yeah, I think that is like pretty much it for that kind of stuff. I'm not going to track water on the weekend because I will probably be consuming other beverages and I may not actually get it there. So that's okay. So let's see. I need to get my books and my, I'm not going to put my bike rides down yet. I'm not really sure what next week is going to bring as far as work so we're gonna yeah we're gonna skip over that for now point being let's see let's use um orange of course we'll use orange and yellow and that green's a little too bright isn't it yeah we'll do orange and yellow next week and i have a hair that is probably dragging all over all right so put our reading in and we'll just do every other for that all right so i was behind this week on getting my youtube videos up i did not get the plan with me up until tuesday 
My first new release video was on Wednesday. The second new release video was on Thursday, and Thursday was when it released. So I have a new kit, or non-kit uh, new release video ready to go. So I'm gonna upload that as well. I think I'll do that one on Wednesday because I don't have any new release videos with this week being a mystery kit. So the mystery kit will go up on Thursday the 8th and come down on Monday morning the 12th. Um, this was Lindsay's first mystery kit and she killed it. I ended up looking at it. I said I was going to try to keep it a secret, but I did not. I looked at it. I even helped her pick out the art, um, which was fine. Where's my, here we go. Here we go. So that, um, it's, it is absolutely beautiful. It is more winter themed. So if you have not bought any winter kits yet, this might be a good one for you. And it will be able to be used, you know, through um, November, December, January, February, you know, the things. So next week, oh, so I forgot. I also have to film my monthly. So maybe we'll do Monday, I guess we'll do Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The last thing I want to have to worry about is uploading a video while I'm camping. So we'll do the yeah, plan with me on Monday, the monthly on Tuesday, and the non-kit new release on Wednesday. And I filmed this one first before my monthly because all I have at work is this itty bitty little SD card. And I'm like, I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough room on the card to film both. So if there's no monthly, that's why. All right, so that I think is it right now. I have, I need to put this kind of stuff over here, but I'm gonna break that down into smaller tasks once I kind of have a better, better idea of what next week is gonna look like. So I think we're gonna go ahead and leave this here. And I will hopefully see you guys back here next week when we plan for mid freaking September. I can't even believe it. I hope you guys have a great week.